Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you still continue to enjoy yourself during these Easter holidays. There is a story that I have read, and it's one that is really amazing. I find it a bit uh, laughable. At the same time, it's, it's a bit ridiculous. The headline says that the ex-KDF officers advised Ruto on how to deal with Raila. Even before I move on, how do you find the headline? Ex-KDF officers advise Ruto on how to deal with Raila, not the current serving ex-KDF officers. Now, let's continue reading. There is a group of uh, ex-soldiers. They have served in the military, the Kenyan military, and uh, they have left. This group was founded in 2008, and let me just read, that founded in 2008 following a government resolution and approval. Kenya Veterans for Peace is made up of retired KDF soldiers or those who have uh, resigned on compassionate grounds. So these are a group of soldiers who have worked, they have they either resigned or they have retired. They formed a group and the government approved it. So they have come up purporting to be advising President William Samoy Ruto on how to deal with the Raila Amolo Odinga. Now look at the advice and you will judge for yourself what is happening. That retired Kenya Defense Forces KDF soldiers on Thursday, April 6th, challenged President William Ruto not to accept a push for handshake during his bipartisan talks with Azimio La Umoja coalition led by the former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga. They continue to say that we support the bipartisan approach but we do not support a handshake because a handshake in our experience as retired soldiers is poison to any democracy, they noted in a statement. So ladies and gentlemen, how do you find the sentiments? These are ex-soldiers. Now they are coming up at a time when Kenya is in a crisis and they are not taking a bipartisan approach. It is like they have taken sides. They are now telling William Samoy Ruto not to accept handshake. Let me tell you why this statement is very fishy. One, Raila Moludinga has said more than 10 times that he is not interested in a handshake. What he wants is the server to be opened so that we can put this drama behind us. We know who won so that Kenya continues. How difficult is that for the ex-soldiers to understand that Raila does not want a handshake? How difficult is that for the Kenya Defense Forces to understand that even we as Kenyans, we don't want any handshake? We did not vote so that two people can share power. We voted for one person. It is either William Samuel Ruto or Raila Moludinga. No one went on that polling day and decided to vote for Raila and vote for Ruto, or vote for Ruto and vote for Raila so that they can share power. This thing is very fishy. Do you know what is happening? William Ruto is a very crafty politician, as I have always told you. He knows very well that things are getting tighter. He has been cornered to the wall. He's now looking for support from all and sundry. So he has brought these ex-soldiers, whether they have been compromised, I don't know. He's now telling them to come and issue a statement. When did soldiers start giving solutions on political matters and telling people that we should not accept this or that? I thought uh, the last time I checked, they should be dealing with the peace and telling people to maintain peace, cohesion and tranquility in the country. So William Zamoy Ruto is using these ex-soldiers to intimidate Raila Mulodinga, to intimidate the people, because now the news that will be going out there is soldiers spoke. Let me say something, without any fear of contradiction, whether an ex-soldier, a civilian, a peasant farmer, whatever we are dealing with is something that is touching at the hearts of the people. And no one can come and intimidate anybody. And William Ruto should not think that by bringing now these ex soldiers he will intimidate anyone. This is beyond intimidation. You know what? 
We all understand that the Kenyan forces is divided right in the middle. So what William Ruto is trying to do is to try and convince people that the Kenyan forces is with him and that they are supporting him fully. Otherwise, why would the, the Kenyan ex-soldiers come here and start lecturing people on what to do on political matters? When did they become champions of political stalemates? I think this is unacceptable. And if this is what William Ruto is trying to do, it is dead on arrival. You see, you can bring each and every person. You can bring in the foreign diplomats. You can bring in the Delaware senator from U.S., Mr. Kunz. You can, you can bring the, 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 the head of African Union, uh, Mr. Musa Faki. But it is very simple. It is in the server. It is not about all these talks. You can threaten, you can intimidate, but this is very simple. Open the server. I don't understand why opening a server is so difficult. These exodus, I think, they are out of order. This is my personal opinion. They are out of order. Raila is a senior citizen in this country. William Ruto is a senior citizen in this country. Raila controls millions of votes. William Ruto controls millions of votes. We cannot have a clique of people coming to lecture people on what to do. We have a stalemate that can be resolved very easily, opening the server. When we talk about the high cost of living, these ex-soldiers get their retirement benefits packages and they don't feel the pangs of hunger. I wonder whether they have relatives who are also suffering because from the way they are behaving, they behave like they are not in Kenya. They, they, they've never been in Kenya before. This is something that must be rejected. Must be rejected at all costs. And William Ruto trying to do this is stooping too low. If they can come and kill all the people, let them kill them. Yeah. We will not accept this kind of intimidation because these are sentiments that we've had before. Sometimes back we heard that they are kids because the next thing you will see is the trailer tried toppling the government in 1990, in 1982, and therefore he cannot be accepted to become the president. We are beyond this cheap politics. Soldiers should not get into this nasty politics. Let them stick to their call. I don't know what to think, ladies and gentlemen, but to me, this is unacceptable.